Fala galera, beleza? E genária. Gente, e hoje lhe trago aqui um joguinho super interessante, tá? 3 minutos 8, tá? Ou 3 minutos para as 8. Lançado agora no dia 23 de outubro. Tá um joguinho 2D aqui. Onde o protagonista aqui tem que sobreviver a um tempo aqui estimado. Mas vamos lá, vamos começar o jogo aqui. Hum, vamos iniciar o jogo. O jogo aqui. Vai. Bora lá. Vai qual é que é desse joguinho aqui. Galera, não se esqueça de se inscrever no canal, sentar o dedo no like maroto, deixar seus comentários que sem dúvida é muito importante para a evolução do canal. It's 7:33 p.m. on an early December evening in the year. You awaken from a slumber of indeterminate length. Was it five minutes or 40? Maybe a year. Time seems to have slipped away, leaving you dazed and confused. You look around the living room, and everything feels off. It's your flat, where you've lived for nine years, but it's not quite right. It's hard to describe, but it's as if something critical is missing, or something uncanny has been added. You stretch and stand up, trying to shake off the strange sensation. The intercom rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. You aren't expecting any visitors, but you should probably see who it is. Who's there? The end is upon us. Every passing moment brings you closer to your ultimate demise. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only you can stop it. After you hang up the intercom, you get an unsettling feeling. The voice sounded eerily familiar. You try to push the thought away and tell yourself it was a cruel prank. Also, your stomach aches with hunger. It's almost dinner time and you'd better look for something to eat. But that warning. They said the end is near and only you can stop it. Could this somehow be related to the bizarre feeling you woke up with? For peace of mind, you're motivated to find out more. But where to start? The city streets might hold the answers you seek. Tá, ele falou para procurar alguma coisa para comer. Hum, aqui é o quarto, cozinha para cá. Enshrouded in a haze of confusion, you try to grasp how time is currently functioning. It seems, regardless of how long you've spent in an environment, time doesn't progress. Only when you move from place to place will a minute pass. The uncanny feeling with which you woke up persists and your discomfort grows. You wonder if you're still dreaming. Is anything around you even real? Let's see. Okay. Um, not much in here but a day old slice of pizza. Better than nothing, I guess. I'm running low on supplies. I should go to the grocery store, order delivery, or visit a kiosk. Tá. Ele fala para sair para comprar alguma coisa. Has changed over the years, and although you miss its former appearance and the memories that came with it, you've grown to appreciate its current charm. The neon lights. 
the rain-soaked streets, the constant buzz of advertising and worrying vehicles, they merge to create a symphony of the city. You often find yourself relaxing on this balcony, taking in the view and letting the atmosphere wash over you. Uh -huh. I don't have the focus right now to watch TV. Tá. Tinha falado para procurar alguma coisa para comer. Pera aí, deixa eu só ver se tem alguma coisa aqui. Na... Uma coisa aqui no fogão, cozinha. I'm not in the mood to cook anything. Maybe there are some leftovers in the fridge. Tá. Tem mais alguma coisa aqui? I'm running low on supplies. I should go to the grocery tá. store, order delivery, or visit. Então, vamos lá. Deixa eu só ver aqui se tem alguma coisa no quarto. Não. My keys are in here. I better take them. Beleza. Pegou a chave. Beleza. Only clothes, no bodies or. Banheiro principal. Hum, tá? Onde eu vou? Meu vinte e sete dois. hear a thunderous explosion. It sends a shockwave into your very core. You wonder what happened. It felt close, yet far. Kitty! Have you seen my pussycat? I'll keep an eye open for it. Do you mind chatting while we look? What's on your mind, dear? Was someone ringing at your buzzer and muttering some nonsense earlier? Do you mean the Jehovah's Witnesses? I haven't heard from them for a while, and they usually don't come at this hour. No, like someone saying that the end is coming, or something like that. Mm, that sounds like Alan, the vagrant who roams the streets. But he hasn't been bothering me this evening. Ugh, not even the demented want to talk to an old lady like me. Oh, come on. You're not that old. Oof, I'm much older than you think. I don't know about that. Guess how old I am. Oh. Mm. 73. Oh, sweet child, you're flattering me. I'm not that young anymore. I'm 92. Wow, 92. Congratulations, you look way younger. Oh, you're too kind. Mm. Did you hear that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Explosion? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. My hearing isn't what it used to be. Plus, all evening, I've been calling for sweet Puss Puss. Let me know if you see her, okay? Of course. Have we been neighbors for a long time? Oh, don't you remember? I was here already when you moved in several years ago. Sorry, I'm a little out of sorts this evening. What can you tell me about this building? Ugh, not too much. I know it was built during the 2020s. Most of the residents are young families. I've seen many folks come and go during my time here. Alan, the receptionist, can tell you more. He's such a lovely bot with endless knowledge of our abode. You should try talking to him. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Actually, I think I should go. Okay, bye. Let me know if you see my kitty. Kitty? Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Can you tell me how long I've lived here? Absolutely. You moved in during my fourth year of service. Nine years, 34 days, and 21 minutes ago. Why do you ask? Are you feeling unwell, sir? This evening I feel rather confused. Everything seems so new to me, yet I have memories related to this place. As I stated, you've lived here for quite some time. Perhaps you're in distress. The causes can be multiple. Too much work, droughts, or head trauma. Sir, did you fall in the shower after work? I don't think so. I mean, my hair isn't wet. Unfortunately, I cannot aid you with this matter. Perhaps seek medical attention if the issue persists. Is there anything else, sir? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? How could I not have heard it? It shook the entire condo. Perhaps it was caused by an explosion from a gas leak a block away? Unfortunately, such mishaps are not rare events these days. However, there is no need to worry, as the maintenance in this building is up to snuff. Um, all right. Do you work 24-7, non-stop? Precisely. My model is one of the best robo-receptionists you can find on the market. All year round, day to night, Monday to Sunday. With 28 terabytes of space in the cloud to store all my data. Typing information down the sidero gutter. Looking at humans walking by like dancers in the night. Organizing functional architecture like a formal life. And I only need maintenance twice a year. Don't you ever get tired or bored? I'm a machine. I'm not programmed for tiredness or boredom. I wish I were the same. Do not say that, sir. I saw the best robots of my generation destroyed by bugs, emotionally starving and hysterical for a slice of human feeling. A fair number of robots crave to be human, while an equal number of your kind yearn for robotic consciousness, advanced programming, and the potential for eternal digital existence. Not me. It sounds like being a robot means losing your freedom and being forced to repeat the same actions again and again. No offense. None taken. I have not been programmed to be offended. I don't perceive myself as a prisoner. Perhaps you could tell me what being a prisoner feels like. Every so often, a person wishes to broaden their horizons, explore an exotic country, or change jobs to escape the routine. Living in prison won't allow any of that. Humans need routine as much as they require change. Freedom can come from routine. I foresee this philosophical conversation lasting for hours. If someone might step in, I must be available to do my duties. Is that... Nothing. I have to go. that explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Did someone finally blow up that big evil bot PD-99? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem so. Ah, such a, sh- such a, sh- such a shame, Stang! Is everything okay with you? No, of course not! Can't you see? I'm bu- 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 bugged! Yes, the 
way you move and talk is not normal. Can I help you? Help me? Why? To fix you. No! Oh, oh, oh. I'm fine this way. I'm fine and dandy. Please do not fix me. Where? All right, all right. I think I should go. Bye, bye. Good evening. Good evening to you. Is everything hunky dory? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Oh my gosh, baby, I heard it. It rattled my bones. Its origin and nature elude me, yet it evokes memories of the ultimate demise, the great calamity from which I fled. Calamity? What are you talking about? It's a distant recollection, perhaps eroded by the sands of time or obfuscated by some other force. Yet its presence persists, akin to the scent of charred remnants that linger even after the flames are quenched. I feel it too. Keep asking around. Perhaps we aren't the only ones that remember. Stop! You are not authorized to proceed. But I see people walking over there. I don't care. You cannot pass. I can't reach it. I don't have my wallet on me. The end is nigh! No need to yell, I'm standing right here. Can we have less shouting and more of a conversation? What do you want? You're disturbing my calling. What can you tell me about the end of the world? I remember what most forgot, and then you can remember too. Yes, there's still time before it comes again. What's coming exactly? The end of all things. A wolf with a thousand mouths and ten thousand flaming tentacles. Enough to engulf us all. Wake up! Remember, it's the only way we escape total annihilation. Was it you ringing my intercom? Me? No way. I don't even know where you live. I've not seen your face before, though. Do it in your eyes as you walk past me, but, but that's it. I don't go around ringing strangers' buzzers. It sounded like you, though. At least, the kind of things the voice said was similar to what you're saying. Perhaps another wise herald has awoken. <laughs> the tides are shifting. Did you see the explosion a moment ago? Any idea what it was? Ah, that was nothing. A snap of the fingers compared to what's coming. Be aware, the end is nigh. Yes, yes, you said that a few times already. Have I told you it'll be the second rapture? Second? You don't remember. Like so many, you act as if your memories have been wiped clean. Some of us, a chosen few, can never forget that we faced the apocalypse already. Not long ago. And now it's coming to claim our lives once more. You're crazy, old man. Crazy? <laughs> That's what I hear most of the time. That I'm crazy. Woo! Let me tell you one thing, guy. I'm the only sane person around. You know deep down inside that what I say is true. 
You just need the right trigger. One, two, three, boom. You'll realize we've already been obliterated from this earth before, and it'll happen again. Um, yeah, right. I'm not exactly convinced. I'll keep asking around. Yeah, one, two, three, boom, you'll see. Hello, what can I do for you? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what happened? You heard it too. Finally, someone else who is willing to talk about them. Often I feel like I'm the only one that hears the explosions. Is it that everyone else utterly ignores them? Are people that detached? Each time one comes knocking, I get these ghastly visions flashing in front of my eyes. Images of death and destruction. They barely last fractions of a moment, but I'm left reeling each time. My God, I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what they could be? I think they are ripples from the past leaking into our present. A catastrophe that everyone seemingly has forgotten about or dares to bring up. You aren't the first person I've spoken to who mentions it. And the more I discuss it, the more I remember it. Yet it's all still so vague. I need to know more. Part of me is slightly relieved to hear that. It makes me feel less alone. I'll advise you to watch for minor details in your surroundings. What people aren't able to remember, the environment does. Hello? Ignore what you heard. It's all lies. Who is this? A friend. And I'm telling you that there was no great cataclysm. It's just hearsay, an urban legend, fake news. But I have memories. They might be scattered, but I know something happened. No. Let it go. If it's the truth you seek, go to your bedroom. Is it how you remember? Is something amiss there? My bedroom? Yes. Now go and find the truth. But... Baby face, you seem tense. I gotta come clean. I did a little eavesdropping while you were on the phone. Do not believe their lies. The apocalypse is real. Tough pill to swallow, huh? It's easier to choke down with a mouthful of gin. But once you know the truth, it's impossible to ignore. The feeling will be scratching at the back of your eyelids everywhere you look. You'll see signs of the end times in the ordinary and mundane. Just look around. Everything will be clear. Um, sure, whatever you say. It's too high. I don't need anything from there. It's locked. Hi there. What would you like? What are you selling? Ramen. Best in town. Handmade with a recipe passed down from generation to generation. I was taught by my mother, and she learned from my grandmother, and her from my great grand. I think I get the picture. It sounds promising. It's impossible to find better ramen, at least on this side of the globe. Can I get some ramen? Absolutely. Our special is $29.99 credits. Oops, it looks like I left my wallet at home. I'll be back. No problem, I'll be here. Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? Yes! What a fright! I think the Yakuza blew up the teriyaki shop down the road! There's been a fight between Yakuza families trying to control the teriyaki market. 
Er, okay. Nothing. I gotta go. Take care. I already have a pack or two at home. Plus, I don't exactly have sex on my mind. The end is As you step back inside your flat, you hear running water coming from the bathroom. Someone is taking a shower. Yet you are sure you were alone when you left. After a few moments in which you stay puzzled, the sound of the shower stops. Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? I'm feeling all out of sorts. Can you help me understand what's going on? What do you mean by what's going on? You took a nap after work while I showered. We'll have dinner in a bit, then maybe watch some TV. Do you feel sick? Feverish? No, just my brain is a little foggy. You should rest a bit more. You're probably coming down with something. I need to stretch my legs and clear my head a bit. Something's off. Something's happening. Nothing is happening. Just try to relax. I've warned you about work stress. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? Not really. I'm honestly surprised to even see you here. Who are you? My girlfriend or something? What the hell? Honey, we've been together for years. <gasps> Did you eat spicy food for lunch? You know how that screws up your dreams. I can't remember what I had for lunch. Surprised to see me here. I live here. Are you not so subtly telling me that I should move out? No, no, I I'm just a bit confused. What's up? Are you sure you're okay? Sorry, for a moment I didn't recognize you. I'm feeling disoriented. I must be hungry. Do you have any thoughts about dinner? Eh, I have no idea. I was hoping you'd have something in mind. We can order in. How about Indian? Yeah, Indian sounds good. Can you wait another hour or so to order? I'm not hungry yet, as I had a late lunch. Fine. Are you sure everything is alright? Did you hear that explosion? Any idea what it was? I heard it too. And I've been trying to look online, but have yet to find an answer. What is this world coming to? Strange things are happening this evening. Oh, don't worry too much, okay? You look so lost. What troubles you? I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. Damn, there's nothing amiss in here at all. That inhuman voice on the phone misled me. But why? It's too cold to open the window. I just woke up. I don't need to sleep again. Hello, sweetheart. Are you okay? I think I should go. See you later. Hum, não sei qual que é essa senha aqui, não achei nada. I love my couch, but I napped enough for today. Tá. Então, aqui... 
Huh, I guess I left my wallet here. I'd better take it. Ah, beleza. Achei. Agora sim, a gente vai lá comprar. At 7.57 p.m. you slipped and died. Your mind was on other things, but you should have watched your step. You slipped on a small cat toy, fell back, and banged your head, dying on impact. Another. Galera, é um jogo muito interessante, você tem que, acho que, dependendo das suas escolhas, né, você determina um final aqui pro, pro, jogo, pro personagem, mas parece ser um joguinho bem legal, tá, acho que vale a pena aí uma jogatina, tá. Bom, galera, a gente fica por aqui, fiquem com Deus, até a próxima e valeu!